welcome to the Faith Factory today. I'm so glad that you've come to join us. And here at the Faith Factory, you know what we do? You're right. We build our faith. What is faith? It is trusting and believing in Jesus Christ. And every time that you come to the Faith Factory, you're going to learn more and more about Jesus. And you got it. You're going to build your faith and it's going to get stronger and stronger. So are you ready to have fun? If you are, let me hear you say, yay! Great job. Let's go have fun. Through you, I can do anything. I can do all things. Because it's you who gives me strength. Nothing is impossible. Through you, blind eyes are open. Strongholds are broken. I am living by faith. Nothing is impossible. I'm not gonna live by what I see. I'm not gonna live by what I feel. Come on, sing it. Deep down, I know that you're here. Nothing is impossible through you. Blind eyes are open. Strongholds are broken. I am living by faith. Nothing is impossible. I'm not gonna live by what I see. I'm not gonna live by what I feel. Deep down, I know that you're here with me. And I know that you can do anything. Through you, I can do anything. I can do all things. And it's you who gives me strength. Nothing is impossible through you. Blind eyes are open. Strongholds are broken. I am living by faith. Nothing is impossible. Now, now I get it. You know what? 
That reminds me of a story in the Bible. There was a man and he was sitting in a chariot and he didn't understand. He was reading the Bible and he just didn't understand what he was reading. And so you know what he did? He, oh wait, I don't want to give too much away because joyous Julie is going to come and she's going to tell you all about it today. So you ready? All right, let's go. Hey everybody, are you excited about the Bible lesson today? I am. I'm Joyous Julie, and I have got some questions for you as we get started today. Our question number one is, have you ever wondered if there's a God? Have you ever wondered if he's real? Have you ever wondered what his name is? Or if he knows who you are? Hmm. What about I know? Have you ever started to read the Bible because you wanted to know more about him? And as you read, you didn't understand what you were reading. So you turned the pages and thought, I'll understand this, but you didn't understand that either. Well, did you know that there is a story in the Bible about a man who had those very same questions? And we're going to meet someone special today. I have got a friend that's gonna help me today. I'm so glad you're here. All right. Now, in the Bible, get in your Bibles and turn it to Acts chapter eight. That's where your story is, isn't it? And so in Acts eight, it tells about a man and the Bible refers to him as the Ethiopian eunuch. And the Ethiopian eunuch, he had a very, let's straighten here, he had a very important job. He was like a banker. In the Bible, it says he was a treasurer, but he wasn't just any treasurer. He was a treasurer for the queen of Ethiopia. Yes, I know. And her name was Candace, and that was his job. So he didn't go anywhere just riding a horse, but he rode in a royal chariot. And this day, the Bible says that he had gone to Jerusalem to worship Jesus. And so as he was in Jerusalem and he was worshiping and he was there just having awesome like Sunday school and he was singing songs with everyone else, he felt something so special in his heart as he was raising his hands and as he was talking to Jesus, he felt something in his heart and he thought, I want to know more about this. Have you ever thought that? He did. So as he was time to go home and he was in his chariot going home, he went through the desert. Whew. And the desert we all know is very hot and there's no water there. Imagine yourself in the desert, that you're going through the desert and there is over by that rock over there, there is a snake because we know there's snakes in the desert and those snakes in the desert wiggle themselves down to where just their head is standing up out of the sand. And over there, did you see that? I did too. It's a lizard and he's on a rock. And then over there's cactuses with flowers, but there's no water. And he was riding through the desert in his chariot and he was reading something. Now, in his time, the Bible was on like this, a scroll where you unrolled it as you were reading it. It wasn't like we have it now that it's like a book. And you were in your chariot and he was reading his scroll, the Bible, wanting to know more about this Jesus. But what? I, I can't hear you. You're whispering? Okay. Yes, I know. Do you want me to tell them? Okay. He didn't understand what he was reading. And so he looked over here and he didn't understand that either. And he just wished there was somebody that could tell him what it was that it was talking about in the Holy Bible. But there was no one. He looked over there, no one anywhere. Because where was he? You're right. You remembered. He's in the desert. But Remember our question in the beginning about is God real and does what's his name? Do you know that Jesus knew that you were in the desert? Yes, he did. And he knew that you wanted to know more about him? Yes. And so he talked to a man named Philip. And Philip, he heard Jesus talk to his heart and tell him to go to the desert. And 
Philip didn't know why, but he obeyed. And what Jesus knew, remember when we talked in the beginning about does Jesus know who we are? He knew you were in the desert and you wanted to know more about him. So he sent a man that was in a faraway city to go and to see you. And so he was riding in his chariot and all of a sudden he looked. Oh, do you see it? I see it. There came Philip. And Philip, as his chariot went by him, Philip got in the chariot. And you look down in verse 36, 37 in the book of Acts chapter 8. And it tells you what happened. That Philip got in that chariot. And the book of Isaiah that you were reading, it talked about Jesus going to the cross. But you didn't understand it, did you? No. So Philip said, do you understand what you're reading? And you told him no. And he said, ha. Huh. And he began to preach to you, Jesus. And so, oh, your heart was so happy. And he thought, I understand now. Someone has come to tell me what I have to do. Because you had sin in your heart. And you know when we have sin in our heart, we don't feel very good. But we learn that you could just say, I'm sorry, and Jesus will forgive you. And that's what Philip preached to you. And so then he told you about being baptized in Jesus' name. And so as they were going through the desert, remember we said there's no water. That chariot came up, and you looked down, and there was a pool of water. And that pool of water was so deep in the desert that both Philip and you walk down in that pool. Because see, when you're baptized in Jesus' name, you don't just have a little bit of water, but you go all the way under the water because that's being baptized in Jesus' name. You go all the way under and you came up and you were so excited and it was awesome. Can you believe that not only did Jesus know where you were in that desert and that your heart really wanted to know him more. But Jesus even provided water for you to be baptized while Philip was there because we can't baptize ourselves. And that was awesome. And the Bible says that he went away so happy because now he knew the answers to those questions. He knew there really is a God and his name is Jesus, and that he does know who we are, and he does know our name, and that he loves us, and he cares about us. And so today, if you've ever had any of those questions, you know, just like he found out, and I found out, is that Jesus is real, and he cares about you. So if you have sin in your heart, you can do just what the Bible said that the Ethiopian eunuch did. He prayed and he was baptized in Jesus name and then Jesus comes in our heart we're building our faith and our faith in Jesus when we believe we have the faith to believe that salvation comes to us no matter what we've done Jesus loves so much that he forgives there's a song that says God loves people more than anything and he loves you today let's pray Jesus we're so thankful that we were able to learn today about how you know who we are and you love us so much and you know our name. And just like you provided in the book of Acts chapter 8, you provided water, you provided a man to be able to tell the Ethiopian eunuch who you were. And today we've built our faith and we've learned that you're a God and your name is Jesus and you love us so much. So Jesus, I ask you that you would touch everyone that's listening today, that as they repent of their sins, they can get Lord baptized in your name and that washes away all the bad things they've ever done. And then you come and you fill us with your spirit, which is the Holy Ghost, speaking in other tongues, that heavenly language, and that's Jesus coming into our hearts. I'm thankful for that today. And today, you can know Jesus.